guys today i'll be showing you two uh react and nextjs sas kits you can use for your next project uh so you don't have to build all that boilerplate and you can launch quicker so the first one is this one which is a simple subscription uh based one um it comes with a very nice website design from tailwind ui uh, with a pricing table it also has a nice about section you can use to showcase your team and a contact page. You can also log in with any social provider. So for instance, Google, Twitter, Discord, or email, you can hook, a, uh, hook it up and log in. And it's also not dependent on any platform like Supabase or Firebase. So if you have a MySQL database and a serverless provider, you can use it um, and hook it up within, I think about 10 minutes, you can get it started. Uh, so this is the dashboard example I have. So this is where you would put your custom features along with a settings page and a billing page, um, which will allow people to upgrade from within the app. You can also manage your billing details from the app. The next SaaS kit is an AI uh, starter kit that you can use to create an AI SaaS using OpenAI. So this one comes with uh, a chat bot, a prompt writer, and image generation um, with a custom pricing uh, page as well. So here's a dashboard for this one. So this is where um, you would add your custom prompts. So for instance, if you were writing an essay service, you would add it here. So this is the chat bot. And as you see, using OpenAI, you can interact with the chat bot. Um, and then for image generation, also use OpenAI. You can put in a prompt and get stuff back from OpenAI, like this. And it's, this is also usage-based. So um, it, uh, when they type in something, it adds to their account and they'll get billed for their usage. Same thing with the prompt writer. You can say, this one is set up to write an essay so if you put in World War II, it'll write an essay on World War II. So both these SAS kits are available on sasplanet.org. And all of them come with the ability to pull down subscriptions from Stripe. Uh, auth and uh, social logins come with them, as, long, as well as components. So the subscription SAS comes with many components using SAD C, uh, Shad CN UI. So you'll be able to create uh, nice interfaces pretty easily. And all of them come with support. So if you need help setting up anything or have any questions, you'll be able to ask me or someone in the Discord how to set it up. Uh, the database I recommend is PlanetScale. So you can create a free PlanetScale database and for free, and you'll never have to worry about um, any scaling issues. And as you grow, if you get to the point where you need to pay for it, you'll already have users. So it's pretty great for just testing things out. Uh, the tech stack is Next.js and TypeScript. So you'll be able to create pretty big applications uh, pretty quickly using the Next.js app router. Um, and of course, payments are using Stripe. So you'll create a product in Stripe and it'll automatically be available with an app. With um, You don't have to do any other further configuration. And it has all the things you need to get people to sign up quickly. So you can add a provider like Google, Discord, or Twitter uh, pretty easily. Just all you have to do is paste in your OAuth uh, keys and they'll be available. And it also has a billing and customer portal uh, using Stripe. So people will be able to upgrade or downgrade their plan and add payment methods pretty easily. Um, we have some pretty good reviews. People are pretty enjoying it. And when you buy one, you get the other. So if you buy one of them, you get the other one. So both combined are $74. Or if you want updates, you'll, it's $149. So visit the website sasplanet.org and you can get started building your SAS today. Thank you guys.